Because I just like uh, recording Realm, and then you can look back on it years later and say, oh, look at that. <laughs> that was fun. Look how much I've progressed. Yeah. Rip in peace, Black Champ. <laughs> Anyhow, uh... So in the oh, I'm when getting Black Files now. When I get in the first room, what I do is I just unlock. I just circle the whole room so I know every single entrance and exit from the, the main room. Uh, and it looks like we only have one, so now it's like it's either me or Black Jam or <laughs> you that want to start the rush. Okay, so do you want to follow one of us as we rush? Yeah. To see Which what it one? looks like. Okay, I'll yeah. do the first one, and then you can teleport to Farvo for the second one. Well. Okay. And let me know if there's a split, Black Jam. You want to generally stay towards the sides of the um, the rush, like the walls when you're running. Okay. But, but make sure your mouth and doesn't go over the black areas, because then you won't be able yep. to cloak. <laughs> and whenever you get into danger like I just did, you want to obviously Ooh. jump. Like, we rogues generally use plane walker so that when they can't get through a hallway because of jackals or when they get confused or anything like that, you can just cloak. I don't know. Did you Were you able to keep up with me there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, yeah. cool. So the general rule is stick to the sides when you're rushing and just wait until you find the next entrance and pop in okay. rather than cut through the middle. And then these, of course, we just clear by turning in the circle that they're going directional-wise. And feel free to ask any questions if you have questions. Okay. It might be easier for you to get the idea of what's going on. Um, a lot of players will anchor. Do you know what how they anchor? No, I don't. Okay, so when they refer to anchor, that means that one player is staying in the main room, so we don't have to rush back. And everybody will generally type in forward slash teleport that person's name, so Just that have it they, ready. Yeah. yeah, so that when they get in danger, all they have to do is press enter twice, and they'll teleport to that person. Oh, okay. And the person who's anchoring generally should not be exploring different rooms, so that they're not in a dangerous place. Mm -hmm. They just stand still, no cloak, just standing, and that's anchoring. So what are what are we doing right now? Are we just killing this thing? or Killing this Sark. <laughs> yeah, this Sark, we just um, kill all the priests, and then we kill the Sark, and then you rush to the next Sark and do the same exact thing. It's really cool because the way Scode made it, each Sark fight is a microcosm that prepares you for the boss fight. They're circling, so you have to learn how to circle with the, the enemies. They're healing the Sark, so you have to learn the idea that Nut's going to be healing the other two. And they're also best if you focus fire one at a time instead of activating them all, just like the bosses. If you if you just kill one at a time, it's much cleaner. Yeah, that's than an if you excellent point. Okay. So it's kind of like training you for the boss fight. Anyhow, um, were there if any you splits? want to follow Farvo, I'll do the next one. Were there were there any splits back there, Black Jam? If you go out of the room, if you're looking at your map, yeah, you'll go to the room to the right, then down. Okay. Then to the right. And then up and immediately to the right. So like a U shape. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Okay. So if you want to follow him, he'll do the next rush. Yeah. Okay. Do this. Try to keep like right with him and mimic his moves. Um. Ah, son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got stuck. Where did you go? Sorry, I, there are a lot of scarabs, so I've. Uh... I am. I've lost you. Where are you? Um, you can, if you teleport, can teleport to me. To him, yeah. Oh, I'm at the Sark. I'm at the Sark. Oh, okay. There's a little jackal baby behind me. Yeah, sorry. I couldn't stop anywhere because there were a lot of scarabs and. Actually, I, uh, when she's invulnerable, do you get confused still? I do, and I still get weak and and stunned and all that. But you can't die. Yeah, and so well, I can die if I'm bleeding. Is there any bleeding effect in here, Farva? Nope. Okay, so you should actually rush to the next arc. Yeah, just give it a try. See how you just yeah. With see how it goes. vulnerable on, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the main thing, since you can get paralyzed and um, confused, is when those little mummies do their green attack. Yeah. Like try to weave through them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
Yeah. So go on and, and find the next room like this one. Yeah, if, if you'd like to. Only if you'd like to. Uh, <laughs> only if I'd like to. <laughs> I'll try. Because we do not want to force something that might be potentially very annoying on you if you're, like, in a room just constantly being scarabed and confused. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's yeah. the thing. Z, when you get scarabs, little black things running at you, circle. Uh -huh. Do a circle motion because all enemies in this game can be faked out through a circle. Okay. Yeah. Like you just run in a circle and you lead them, and they'll just run right into that circle and with you. And you just shoot behind yourself and kill them with yep. your. Yeah. Bone exactly. dagger is the best for scarabs. I always carry bone dagger for those guys. But yeah. Uh. It's not every room that you can safely just do circles till all the scarabs are gone, though. I'm usually running through with um, with my bone dagger on and pointing behind myself and just running. And so I'm killing enemies as I'm rushing, but I only have to do little circles if I absolutely have to. Also, and really, I just cloak before then. <laughs> you'll always find the next Sark by doing, like, following the paths of the room, like the corners of the room until you find the next path. Unless, you know, because you're unlocking it on your map and we don't, we can't see you right now, but she'll okay. always end up there. So don't feel like you're going to get lost. Just keep going to a new room. I think I'm in one. I think, yeah. Oh, another Sark. Oh, cool. How did it go? I'm, I'm circling. <laughs> I'm circling. You see a little brown um, eagle sentry? Little uh, bird poo looking at thing. You. People call those things poo flingers. <laughs> so if okay. you ever hear that term, they're referring to that little guy. And when they say teleport to me, I'm a sark. Um, they mean teleport here. And if they say it's a dirty sark, that means that either a bunch of the priests are activated, and or there's other enemies in here, which can make it really dangerous. Okay. So that's a dirty sark. It's a lot to know dirty, about this. Dirty talk. <laughs> eh, I mean, just take 10% of what you learned today, really. Whatever, th should... whatever things you find most interesting. T-I-L. Timothy is wonderful. <laughs> if you take anything away from this. And really, being invulnerable is like the best way to learn yeah, how to that's rush a great tubes. Learning. That's a great learning tool. <laughs> because you still have status effects which can really mess with you. Yeah. But so you don't die, which is great. Yeah. yeah, they um I don't like to do it when I'm out in the open much because no, yeah. then they um yeah. <laughs> I understand. I understand. Also, when you see these priests turn um what is the word? Opaque? Like yellowish? Or? Well, yeah, like they'll they're start fading. Their color will fade, yeah, and they'll go yeah. to the Sark. You need to attack those, like, immediately. Try to follow them up into the Sark while you're shooting them so that they don't get there. Because if they get there, they get their health replenishes, and they become faster and more difficult to kill. It's, oh, okay. It's kind of like a, it's like a, it's like a soft enrage. It's kind of like how the bosses enrage in this game, in, in uh, the boss fight. Yeah, they they have an enrage where now they're faster. They're they're gonna be, you know, heavily. Sorry, it's my dog. Oh, Is that Carpo's dog? No. Yeah. Molly. Oh, that's so freaking cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't like our neighbors. Okay, so oh, all right. I finish this one. How many are there total? Well, what's the range? Like three to five. Well, so I've heard of one Sark tomb, but there's gonna be max five and at least one, and most of the time it's three to five. That's and any time you have less real Sarks, it means there's still five Sarks, but the other the other Sarks are treasure Sarks where you don't have to kill them to get the boss fight, but they're little bonus Sarks where you can get death or speed or attack or a pair of HP or something from them. Okay. When we're done with these sarks, and even beforehand, the, a few tips for tomb etiquette is if there's a knight in your group, and you're about to fight the sark, you know, all the priests are dead, and you're about to start attacking the sark, you know how the sark shoots out stun? Yes. 
you a knight if a knight is in your group you generally want to effect and then everyone has to wait It'll make sense when we get to the bosses. Yeah, okay. when a, when a knight starts, he's got to know that he's got to hit the boss a couple times. Then, once he's active and not shielded, stun it. But we don't have a knight here, so it's going to be just kind of us all. Are we all ready to start? And then we'll all start. Also, Z, what's up with the America ring? It looks really cool, but do you actually <laughs> use that? <laughs> she's, no. She's just screwing around. She wants to look uh, okay. at it. <laughs> Does anyone actually like using it? No. It's not effective it's at a all. No, it's a novelty ring. Um, it's it's just as bad as the new amulet. <laughs> you generally want something that's going to give you a big health bump, like the ring of the pyramid. Yeah. No, it was just in my uh, my vault, and I didn't feel like making it a new one. I understand. First world <laughs> problems. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> can't spawn a pyramid ring. I'll just put on this America ring. <laughs> <laughs> Too good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, I do think the America ring looks snazzy. And I have seen some people wear it, but I think I've only ever seen them wearing it in Nexus. He did so say snazzy, by the way. Yeah. I did not. Okay. I said something like hip and radical. And totally tubular. Well, I just cool. want to make sure she didn't think you said nasty. Oh, yeah. Snaz. No, yeah, I don't know. You know, when Willem made that, we were really new, so I don't know. We, don't, we didn't know how. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I wish it was a taco ring. He won't make a taco thing for us, and we're like, really? I mean, come on, man. Oh, well, you know how to convince people, right? How's that? Soap party. Soap party. <laughs> Have you guys seen uh, Full Metal Jacket? A long time ago. Okay. Yes. That's where you put the you tuck the blanket around the person in the bed, and everyone puts a bar of soap in a pillow sack or pillowcase. And, <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and teaches them the joys of so social pressure. Poor Willem. <laughs> yeah, poor Willem. <laughs> I can see his next tweet. I so, was like, so um, party, is that like a waterboarding party? <laughs> <laughs> it pretty much is, yeah. For all practical purposes. Wow. So. Alright, I'm almost at the next one. Um, here we go. You can teleport if you want. <laughs> I think the only other rule of etiquette is with rogues. So generally you'll have a rogue in your group in a tomb and he'll be do he or she will be doing the rushing and also um he'll he or she will be cleaning up the bosses. Like when the bosses enrage, they become very dangerous. And so generally a rogue will cloak in and go kill it, finish it off. However, when you're cloaked like that, or when someone else is cloaked, they don't want people running up behind them because then the boss will attack and generally get the rogue killed. So okay. when a rogue is doing the finishing touches, just don't walk up to them and don't teleport to them and vice versa. Like and when you're cloaked okay. and stuff. Yeah, and Skode already made all these bosses still not like super friendly to cloaked rogues because they're all still spamming all their attacks when they're when you're cloaked. So right. you still have to dodge all their shots, but they, at least they're not, like, rushing at you or, you know, aiming directly <laughs> at you the whole time. The Vornox. Also, like, utilize every opportunity to learn how to dodge. <laughs> I see you kind of just, like, eating it all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, you know, I'm still putting oh, you. <laughs> oh, Scarab, Scarab chasing me, guys. Scarab, Scarab chasing me. Get it. So you'll definitely learn the patterns that way. <laughs> Sorry, it's a bat. It's not a scarab. That's what I thought, man. <laughs> <You're screwing. laughs> Are you trolling the GMs again? You're I'm trolling. Around. You're trolling. Okay, uh, the bosses. Uh, let me see here. I can hop this wall with the plane walker. And uh, can you hop again? I cannot hop again. I'm going to uh, see what I can do here. 
Actually, I should have just had you rush back to the first room because you were the one here originally. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. Now I get to experience what you got to go through. Ooh, there's like a jackal uh. right on the door there. That's always fun. Okay, I'm back. In the main room. Oh, thanks. I'll tell Now, don't attack yet, and just come in with us and look. So, they don't do anything to you right now. You can walk in the middle of them, anything. They're just in their okay. rotation. And when we fight, what we're going to do is we're going to rotate with them, just like this. It's like a ballet. And as know. we're rotating, we're gonna shoot. We're gonna shoot one boss, okay. and you shoot only that one boss until he's dead, and then you start in the next one. And that's generally what people want to do in an optimal tomb. Okay. And when they say don't wake up the other bosses, they're saying don't shoot. Players the other are bosses. telling you not to shoot the other bosses because they'll wake up and then you have more bullets everywhere. Okay, I understand that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yay. <laughs> Um, let's see. Anything else before we start, Fargo? When you shoot this this guy or any of these bosses, they're going to throw out weak effect. And that's what I was talking about with a knight. So if you have a knight in your group, he'll generally mm -hmm. hit stun. He'll stun the person, the boss first, and then everyone will attack so that the boss won't shoot out the weak. Okay. But we don't have a knight, so we'll just start shooting him. And okay, which one are we going to... So the order is this big guy right here. His name's Bess. The sand color named Bess. Yeah. Okay. Farva. And then Nut is the blue one. That'll be the second one. Okay. And then Geb is the green one. That'll be the last one. My, All right. My mnemonic when I was just starting was Bess. It starts with B, and it, he looks tan, but I say brown. So it's Bess brown, you know. And then Geb <laughs> is green. That starts with G, green, Geb. And then Nut's just the oddball. The blue uh, yeah. <laughs> and see how they're rotating right now. Yeah. And if we're going to be fighting Bess, this big sand-colored one, we don't yeah. want the other bosses right on top of him like because there. then it makes it impossible to shoot. So we'll wait until he gets to something like this. Like here is pretty good. And then we'll shoot. Okay. So if you want to just wanna... come and shoot with us, you want to be definitely in front of him and not behind him, <laughs> like chasing him. There you go. Try to lead him. Like go right in front of him and do this. And uh, bone dagger is not optimal for this fight. Yeah, which one? Which one? You the one you're using is not optimal for this fight. Yeah, just use any other dagger. Because, because if you you're don't piercing want through the enemies and they come close enough, then you might hit both and activate the one you don't want to. Exactly. Ah uh, shit. Okay. And don't uh. worry about um. There's no bleeding effect, so you won't die. So feel yeah. free to just come with us and lead. You don't even have to shoot him initially. Just walk where we're walking so that you get the angle. Also, are you in your settings off-center? I don't think so. That would help, um, too. No, I'm, need, cent yeah, I'm centered. You yeah. need to be off-centered because when you're centered, you can't see enough in front of you to do this properly. Duh, so I don't think she, she probably doesn't use Q&E to rotate. Do you rotate at all? I do rotate, actually. Oh, yeah. nice. Boom, and you'll Look at you. Ah. I know. I do like it a lot. Um, Dash Ahead was the one who hated it so much. Oh. Can you press O poor, and change your poor um, center to off? Yeah. Under graphics, center on player, off. Because you're going to be able to see a lot further ahead of you, and you're going to be like, oh, okay, now I can rotate. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, now you're ahead of the game. If you know how to rotate, now you'll be able to always keep oh, the stuff. Oh, you in front have of you. to rotate. That's the whole point of this thing. And then, yeah. uh, yep, come with us. Come with me, Chad. Right in front. <laughs> there you go. Right up here. Oh, good call. Cronus is good. Yeah, I like it because it's pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. And see how you're on the side of him and kind of behind yeah. him? Get we'll, yeah. way up front. Lead. Be, okay. like, yeah. and not off to the side. Just get comfortable being in front. You have to lead him. you got to take him by the arm. And, you know, your foot leads him when you're dancing. And... Yeah, you're, like, way behind right now. Oh, I was stunned. Okay, Come now on. this is a good phase because he goes armor broken for a short period of time. You get a little damage in there. Ugh. 
Oh. Stats 8 8? No. Uh, the speed is the only thing maxed right now. What? <laughs> I just have, I didn't have time to. Oh, you, you de definitely want to be, be 8 8 or eight, eight at least 6 eight, 8 for a tomb. Yeah. Just because it's. Okay. It's going to take what's a lot of time if you don't have decks and attack. What's going on? Okay. Do we attack these pyramids? Um, you can, but don't even worry about it. Just focus on him, because the pyramids are just going to uh, stun you for a very brief moment. So they're not even worth focusing on at the moment. I thought they weaken. And Z, come over here with me. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't, don't think about attacking him at all. Just follow me. Oh, okay. Yep. Like, the first thing you want to be comfortable in is moving, not attacking. Wax on, wax off. Yes. Yeah. Like, you're right in his butt. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Perfect, that been... yeah. See? See how you're getting way ahead? That's good. Scumbag With... Farvo gets too much damage in. <laughs> With Bess, those orange things, you know how they all come back into it? Like the boomerangs come back into like one spot. That's uh -huh. the only spot you don't want to be in, really. It will instantly okay. kill a character yes, if you eat all of them. It'll just circle all of them right on top of you, and that's what you want to avoid. Okay, he's close to enraging, just saying. So don't don't freak out if he gets a little hot-headed. When he gets red and starts chasing us, um, I guess different rogues do it differently, but you'll want to use your plane robe, your plane walker robe, to get out of the way. Okay. So he's enraged now. He's kind of angry. And when you attack him, you want to be invisible. Yeah. So you'll cloak, run in, attack, leave. That's the pattern. How long do you have um, to be cloaked? Is it like I think 10 you seconds? have like five seconds. You have 5.5 seconds. 5.5 seconds. Wait, bag. Oh, look, I got a oh. ring of the pyramid. Nice. <laughs> oh, I got a ring. Wow. Very cool. That's a hell of a job. Oh, you got an America ring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a mega ring. <laughs> We're twinsies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, so Very the green good. dude's next? No, no. The uh, blue one. People this generally one save, save the green guy for last because he runs away from you when he enrages, so that's annoying if you're trying to kill another boss while he's like constantly ripping around the room. Also, you see room. all the pyramids now? We'll generally yeah. try to shave them off without attacking the bosses. So, so get out your straight razor and I'll just some watch you do cream. That. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, it's the same circle pattern, and we just uh -huh. kind of shoot off set, off center. I shoot like yeah, at around where they are, not at the boss. Yeah, so I'm not hitting them. The boss is just the. I like to call them nacho chips or whatever. That's what they call those ones in the game, like in the in the realm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's kind of taco esque. Are oh, you talking about those little dirt devils that confuse you in the <laughs> Sandman, the yeah. Sandman convention? Yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh, yeah. I didn't realize that. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Well, if you won't put in tacos, ask for some dip for these chips. Yeah, right right on. Just make some dip in the Nexus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Some> <laughs> you can drown the bots. Oh, God. Yeah, oh, seriously. Yeah. What a pain. Okay, so now we'll start her attacking, and when she shoots out her weak... Just try to like weave out of it. Yeah. So come over here with us. No, so she like, way ahead. I know Bess does three waves of weaken. How much does she do? Four? Uh, it varies, I think. Right, I've well, only I've seen her generally do two. One, one two. Two. Okay. Like that. Oh crap. Oh, and also when you first start shooting her, Gab will do a little The love green tap. one will shoot two. Do you see how he's popping out some things? We call yeah. What is it colloquially? We call yeah. them dildos. That's that's a colloquial <laughs> like, term, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, people just call the big bolts that hurt a lot dildos. Okay. Just so if you hear the term, it's not someone just being profane or vulgar. Well, they are being vulgar, vulgar, oh, but shit. it's like, I don't know. They're using lingo. Yeah, and see, wait, see how he's hugging her now? The yeah. The green one. We don't attack. Since they're so okay. close to each other, we wait until they get out of this phase. I think it's like 15 seconds, Shelly was saying. We wait until they're done, and then we start attacking again. Okay. And you can either keep rotating so you're ahead and ready, or you can um, hide behind a pillar. And now she, when she gets out of that phase, she shoots those paralyzed things. And you just, you just want to avoid them and then keep attacking. 
Okay. Uh, oh, oh she's again. Then she goes back in the hugging. Do you find yourself still getting nervous even though you're invulnerable? No, I'm actually getting um, annoyed by the quicksand. Oh. Yeah, it is annoying. <laughs> and now I, I'm blind. Okay. I always avoid. I try to stay in it for as short of a period as possible. I just pass through quicksand, you know. Is it hard for you guys to eight eight? Do you have to spawn the pots actually? Yeah, we have to spawn eight, um, the pots. We can do it in packs of uh, eight, but uh, okay. oh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> no, that shouldn't take too long. So this is this, I guess, the second phase, Farvo. And now you have her artifacts out, those little green balls. Okay. And, and those things will make you go slow. Okay. And she's shooting one little black arrow out, and that indicates that she's on her second phase. Uh, when, third phase. We, oh, third phase. When we start attacking her some more, she'll start shooting out two black arrows. And at okay. that point, she's about to pop. She's, she's fourth phase and fifth phase is in rage, yep. And then yep. rage okay. for her is she's going to go crazy. You don't have to necessarily focus on the number. Yeah, of it doesn't whatever matter. number she on. Just look at how many arrows she's shooting. And once she shoots two, you don't want to be up under her skirt when she yeah. pops. Yeah, she, she go, she go crazy. <laughs> she go cray cray. <laughs> she's gonna be trying to crump you all over. Actually, I think she probably will be going for Zebo. It'll be interesting. And I guess. Besides the little green Chinese stars or throwing stars, the thing you don't want to get hit by as a rogue, <laughs> besides quicksand, yeah, <laughs> is um the white, the white boomerang, boomerang because they will take away your magic and you can't plane walker. And you always want to have enough juice or magic to plane or teleport out of danger. Always okay. have enough. You don't want to is, become a muggle. Okay, so are we shooting at her, or what's going yeah, on? We're yeah, still yeah, we're, gonna, we're, we're um, gonna weaken her. Yeah. Whoa, oh, Jesus. Get me out of here. Okay. Yeah, plane <laughs> walker, that's exactly good use of it. You can teleport to someone you, who you know is safe, or plane walker out of the deep sand. Generally plane walker, because you don't know where everybody else is. Yeah, I wouldn't trust anyone. I usually nexus before I try to teleport to someone, just because I don't trust anyone. Yeah. Rightly so. Now I get people trying to teleport to me. I'm like, I'm the worst person to teleport to. You're not. <laughs> yeah. Stuck in the me. sand. <laughs> I'm currently invulnerable, eating a ton of shots. So. <laughs> Shit. Right? Don't teleport to me. And then they write in a ticket. Was Marks killed me? <laughs> no, you killed yourself. You assume all li all liability when you teleport. And I mean, you can keep running in front of her unless she does really tight circles like she is right now. Like she's more or less just in the center, turning around on one foot. So you can't be in front of her like this. You have to just kind of pop in and out and hit her. Okay. Okay, now see how she's doing double arrows? Yeah. She's about to explode. Oh, and I'm lagging. She's like, you don't call me enough. You didn't. You totally forgot our anniversary. <laughs> Ow. At least now she's not doing crazy turns on the catwalk, Lois, and now we can actually shoot her. Lois. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, I wasn't calling anyone Lois. It's a thing. <laughs> thing for Family Guy. <laughs> It's uh, oh my god. <laughs> what? What? She's in the dead center eating everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my god. That's the bad part about being invulnerable, though. Cause... Yeah, because then, <laughs> yeah, cause cause then you have to play, endure all like, this. Uh... Otherwise, you would have been quickly to, quickly to the character select screen. Oh my god. Right. <laughs> When okay, is she so, gonna die, man? She's taking forever. Oh no, just uh, Farvo and I are just derping. That's why we're gonna uh, finish her up a lot faster than this. Yeah. But we want to try to get as much instruction in as we can. Oh, that's understandable. <laughs> much too. 
Oh, yeah. uh, okay, she's about to pop. Sure. Yeah, she's she's gonna be. So you want to make sure when she's about to pop, you're not in a very bad position. You want to be in a position where you can teleport way the hell out of her way. Because when she pops, she's gonna shower out these blue sparks. There she is. Sprites. She's angry. That will um paralyze yeah. you. And uh, once you're in that mode, you are effed. She's okay. angry, guys. Do you want? Okay, let... wait. Let her do it. So. Yeah. Teleport to that little bit of sand near the pillar there, or the dark sand, uh-huh. and then uh, run in and shoot her, and then run out. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh, I mean here. Can you see this one up here? Right here. Oh, Where shit. you're at? Oh, my oh. run, run. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Black Jam, you troll. <laughs> oh, my God. I almost killed us all. <laughs> Yeah, you want to – these pillars that are towards the center of the um, room, you want to teleport to one of the corners of it and then run in. Because the, those will block shots, and she's always spraying a bunch of crap, so. Yeah, always. So if you want to come to us, I'll show you. I'm paralyzed right now. Um, are like you killing her currently? <laughs> <laughs> she might – Zabornox might be killing her currently because if she's being paralyzed locked, you can yeah, teleport she might to us be, though. Oh, have her, Done. Oh just, hey, hey hey there! I don't know how that happened, but here oh, look. okay. Oh, oh my god, she has five effects. On her. So many effects. Uh. Okay, so <laughs> this is what we'll do. Okay. We'll teleport. If she's in the center, can you see me? You'll teleport here, Doot. just like that. <laughs> okay. And then you'll run in, attack, and run the hell back. But okay. now is she on the side? Is she over at that? Now we she's were over at? here. So yeah. what we would do is we'd teleport a little bit. And then run up to her and shoot her and run back. So try teleporting as far as you can towards that her direction. Go up to her, shoot her, and run back. She's, oh, not, that's the, not, she's her. not in the center. She's not in the center. She's not in the center. She's not the green one. That's that's Geb. Ah. She's she's ah. over, she's over where you <laughs> she's over where you left her. She's over where you left this her. Way. I think. Wrong dude. Okay. Yeah, she's up, she's way. over this there way. where I'm shooting. Teleport. Yeah. Oh. Okay, there you go. Now go in and. Fight. Yeah, I'm slowed though. Oh, now I'm paralyzed. Oh, good oh, lord. Oh shit. Okay, so if you kind of hide, try to get <laughs> If you get um, a status effect while you're trying to t- uh, be invisible, just come back immediately because you'll you don't have enough time. Okay. All right. I'll try it again. Oh. Jesus. Yeah. Just come back. In oh. here. Oh my god. There you go. Okay, so if you're behind here, watch where I teleport. Boom, right there. And then you'll run up, and then run back. She's dead, by the way. Oh, you killed her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's... <laughs> I don't miss her, it's okay. I was just circling around the room, and then she was still at this pal- pillar. I thought you guys had dragged her to the okay. other one. So here's the last one, Geb, and we'll just shave off the artifacts. Oops! Or waking them up <laughs> immediately. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Cool. And then come up with us and same routine. At least Geb, you only have to worry about Geb. Yeah. <clears throat> but then once his artifacts and scarabs are out, then you have to worry about scarabs and artifacts and Geb. Yeah, this is the only boss that'll shoot out scarabs that'll paralyze you, and then he'll run over you. Okay. You kind of want to be up and to the right of him. Oh, God, this, this quicksand is just awful. Um, so people actually solo this, huh? Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think by time and I have both soloed this several times. Wow. I have but a new appreciation It takes for way this. too long. <laughs> I'd rather do it with a group have of you, a few friends. Have you completed a tomb yet? Um, or I, had, had, I mean, I've been in it, uh, when it's, yeah. but I, I guess I didn't first really time. Well, Here's a good, um, <laughs> another good tip. When when you see those blue artifacts chasing yes. you, if they're chasing you, the etiquette is to pull them out of the circle. Come all like, the way to the end of a wall, let them follow you, and kill them. Because okay. if you don't and you stay in the circle, they're going. People are going to f- run right over them and die. Okay. So if you have those blue ones chasing you, do as Farva just did. Pull them out and shoot them. Okay. I think those things hit for 144. 
which is pretty big, large hits. Yeah, and they can spew out like three shots really quickly, so yeah. it can uh. very quickly turn you into mush. Okay. <clears throat> was that your first white bag in a tomb? It was. That's pretty it cool. was. Thing. This is awesome. I know, I could put my first white bag. I could yeah, post on the phone. Post on oh the my gosh, the you can. Did you take a screenshot? <laughs> no, I didn't. I should have. Are you been. recording, Barba? Yeah, yeah. Whatever, yeah. Bornox, you can make your own. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, I was going to say, is. like you should be able to appreciate the gameplay just like anyone else. Oh, wait, no, it'd be best if you didn't, because if you took a screenshot and you have the invulnerability shield. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, people would like, give you so much hmm. crap for it. Just imagine. Oh, yeah. Oh. Is the game playing a lot better after the update now? Or I think so. It... Some people have been yeah. mentioning they've been getting a little bit less, uh, you know, issue. But oh, thank we'll goodness. See. I'm glad they're doing a lot to try to fix, you know, back end stuff instead of they are. To it's, push forward. I mean, I certain. see them working on it every day. It's just we don't have a lot of people, so it's. I know. Yeah. You know. Z, look at you. Oh Jesus! <laughs> oh my God! Maybe you should pull this on. Uh, put a, this on YouTube. Although I have my shield on, so um, I'm yeah. stuck. Oh, Geb's kind of angry. So, at this oh. point. Yeah, he's raging right on top of you. That's why you couldn't get out of there. So when he's enraged like this, you want to just not push him into someone else and get them killed. Yeah. Yeah. So this would be a great opportunity to teleport in this little block right here and then uh -huh. run up and shoot him while you're invisible and run back. Go for it, yeah. Give oh, and actually, try to teleport next time, not directly oh. on the quicksand. I got a purple bag, though. I see it. Huh? Yeah. Purple bag? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he died? Oh, the blue one. Gotcha. Nice. Did you get a life you pot? Get a life pot. Did I got life. Yep. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Okay, did you feel like you learned much? <laughs> I actually, you know, I know I looked really bad, but yeah, I did. Awesome. I guess the main lesson for the bosses is don't chase them. Let them chase you. Because okay. you'll never catch up if you're trying to outrun them. Just put yourself in a position where you're way ahead first. That's yeah. But is that, the, is that true in every dungeon? Like mm -hmm. with Thessal and all that stuff too? No. Uh, no, like these bosses are, different. are different in that they're they're constantly circling. No matter where you're going, they're going to be circling. Actually, the, the ocean trench is a lot faster than this. We could probably beat one right now in five minutes if you want to rush with Farvo, and then we can teach you how to beat the boss. Yeah, okay. Thessal's much quicker. It's like five minutes. Let's do it. Oh, oh, what up? I also um can't 